Shalom. Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Peace and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom unto the elect. So, getting into a lesson now, this is going to be a quick testimony about something my seed had experienced. All right, he had a dream. Okay, and um, the scriptures mentioned about dreams. All right, and um, pertaining to end time prophecy. All right, so before I even mention the actual dream, I'm going to get into this Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And his people now is dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, because not the whole nation of Israel, which is you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. These are the true children of Israel, but only an elect number among them is going to be delivered. And those are those that are going to be never ashamed. All right. And they shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, which is what the Lord is doing right now. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Okay, so the reason why I'm bringing this out is because um, my seed had a particular dream. You know, this is not a long testimony, it wasn't a long dream, it was just a quick mention of something. And, um, you know, I've never mentioned to him about the 666 or the Mark of the Beast or, you know, that device that we mentioned. I never mentioned. Well, I did mention to him about the jab and things like that, but he doesn't know that, you know, about the relevance of the 666. So this morning he wakes up and the first thing he tells me, he said, I had a dream, Dad. I had a dream about. Um, I had a dream about cars and one of them was made in 2024 because he likes you know he's obsessed with cars that's his thing cars cars hot wheels and things like that so in a dream you know he and usually he usually checks the time that it was made you know whether it be 97 98 you know 99 2000 car whatever so he said the car was made one he said there were seven cars one of them was made in 2024 the other one was 1996, and he said that the 1996 ended up being 666. So he said, basically, you know, the seventh car was 666, which seven represents completion. So the Lord used things that he's familiar with to bring a spiritual meaning out of it, because I've never mentioned to him that 666 or anything about the MOTB, but yet he... You know, he just said that out of nowhere and it kind of sent me back. I was like, wow. And I, and I asked him to explain and he said, you know, that was pretty much it. You know, the car was made in six, it said 666. And he, he, he and then he asked me, what does that mean? So then I, I went on to explain it to him, you know, and then he, you know, he usually likes me to look things up and show him on the Internet what I'm talking about. So, and mind you, he's only five years old. And he uh, <clears throat> he asked me to show him. So I looked up the chip. You know, I showed him a picture of it. I showed him what it looks like, I, you know, and I told him that that's that the Lord is going to have a lot of these people take it. You know, a lot of people just like the time of the jab, which I, you know, explained that to him as well, that many people. That um, many people, you know, they took it and. The same thing goes for the the MOTB, which I explained it to him, and I explained to him that we, we have to not take it at all risk because, you know, at all costs, I should say, because the Lord is going to destroy those that do. So again, you know, the scripture says that our sons and our daughters will prophesy. So even though he didn't know what it meant, he's mentioning something that is in prophecy. You see, so I look, I took that as a sign from the Lord. That we're in a time where this is going to be implemented very soon. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it for all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. <clears throat> we brought this scripture out ad nauseum. 
Okay. A mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. I got one sword, which when we say sword, we're talking about the scriptures. I got a Bible that it, I've, I've went to Revelation 13 so many times. The page is ripped, <clears throat> you know, because we actually read our Bibles over here. You know, and the scriptures also says that we, we're supposed to teach our children um, about the laws of Yahweh. Let me see if I can grab it. I, I'll jump back to this. Let's see if I can find it. Mentions your sons and daughters. Uh, meditate. Law. Let's see. Maybe that'd be it. Nope. Speak. Law. Children. Yeah, bear me one second. I'm trying to find this particular scripture. Yeah. yeah I'm having a little trouble finding it. Bear, bear with me one second. Yeah, so here it is. This is uh, Deuteronomy 6 <clears throat> and 6. It says, I'll read um, the fourth verse. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our power is one Yahweh, which in the Hebrew we bring this out. This is the Shema, Shema, Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah, Hayanawa, Yahweh, Achad. All right, which is that. What I just read, the fourth verse in the, in the ancient Hebrew. All right, so it says, And thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. <coughs> So again, you know, teaching, you know, we're supposed to speak with our children about these things. All right. What's located in the scriptures. All right. Which it's a spirit because um, last week I had. Well, I don't remember if it was last week or the week before, but I went into the commandments with him. And little by little, I could see the Lord working with him more. <clears throat> you know, Lord's will. We and our children are of the elect. All right, but the point being that, you know, these type of things will happen more, you know, when we meditate on these things and, you know, because the Lord is pleased with that. You know, most people are not teaching their children these things. You know, they're teaching their children a bunch of folly. So for us to be able to bring out this truth and teach it to our children, you know, honestly, the younger, the better, you know, but you, te you teach it to them, you give them milk, you know, you teach them little by little. So you don't overwhelm them. But uh, the Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands, right hand or in their foreheads. So that is the vision that the Apostle John saw on the Isle of Patmos. All right. Karagma. That word there is a physical etching, something that's physically marked into you. OK. So many received it in their right hand, some on their left hand, just because it didn't mention left. There's another scripture that mentions either hand, okay? And the mark is re mentioned uh, multiple times in the book of Revelation. So it is very important. People downplay it. But it is very important to know that it is the chip, the RFID microchip, all right? And it says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, all right? No man might buy or sell, Okay? And, uh, you know, when it mentions forehead, too, in the last verse, that that's, uh, you know, Elon Musk Neuralink. So the things that we're seeing, it all plays into biblical prophecy. All right. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to buy or sell. All right. That's going to be all a part of it. If you want to be down with this system, if you want to continue to do commerce, you will have to have this. Okay. So this is the time that we're coming into. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. All right. Kaizai stigma. Okay. Stigma is something that's stuck to you. Okay. 
sticks to you all right also dealing with cutting okay because they're gonna open your flesh just like with the with the with the yob all right they open up your flesh and they put something inside of you all right and the same thing goes for the mark of the beast okay it is the number of a man okay so this is Esau Edom this is his number okay and this is what he plans to do and also another aspect of the 666 is that you have the merchandise all right with the two the two lines in the beginning the two lines in the middle and the two lines in the end you see so i'm it's funny because i just pulled um just some staples random staples off my desk and um you know it has this this the same thing okay the two look the two lines that look the same in the middle the beginning and the end of that barcode that represents that kaizai stigma 666 so again it's all part of his satanic system and his satanic agenda of the of esau Eden, the so-called white man and we are simply here to break it down and expose it all right and i'm gonna get this second thessalonians 2 and 8 and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth the wicked being esau edom the elite starting with the elite bankers all right which the small hats the one that are claiming to be the jays they are actually edomites of the tribe of amalek okay which is the chief tribe of the nation of edom that's why they are on top because Edom rules the world, okay? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Here, yeah, the scriptures talks about the one that rides upon the red horse, who's, who uh, takes peace from the earth, paraphrasing it. That's Esau, all right? It says, the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The spirit of his mouth is his servants, the prophets. And the brightness of his coming is when the Lord Yahweh shall returns. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, so it shows that there's a him and then there's Satan who, who is upon him after the working of Satan. All right. So on the left hand, with all power and signs and lying wonders, which, by the way, the most high controls Satan. Satan is under the direct orders of the most high and he's set up to deceive men. All right. Which clearly the way that these elites move, they are deceived. They're high off their own supply. You know, they're very prideful and the Lord is going to bring their pride down. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Right. So if you don't receive this and take heed, you're going to perish. You're going to you're going to die. All right. Because you receive not the love of the truth and the love of the truth, the love of the most high is to keep his commandments that they might be saved. All right. <clears throat> so just, you know, it's a beautiful sign. You know, I was praising the Lord hearing that this morning and, uh, you know, just. The Lord, like, basically speaking through through my seed, and it was just an ex it was just some a sign to me that we are very close. All right, we are very close to seeing this happen, and, and more and more of our you know sons and daughters are gonna have these type of spiritual things happen to them. All right, L Luke twelve and two: For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. All right, nothing covered that shall not be revealed. So there you have it. All right, nothing covered that shall not be revealed. It's all coming out. It's all being exposed. All right. And the main thing is the identity of who is Esau Edom, which we just explained. They are the ones that put us into slavery here. They refer to themselves as white. They're actually red. Okay, that's what Edom means, red. All right, the red horse, the Republican Party is all red. They said there was a red wave. Yeah, because Edom is coming into the, the height of his power in order for the Lord to strike him down. All right. And also, the what is the mark of the beast? That's another thing that was uh, covered that is, that is being revealed. All right. Where is Babylon the Great? The fact that it's America. That's another thing that's being revealed. So many things are being revealed. All right, so with that, call Halal Yimla, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Achak with Dash. Shalom, Barakah, to the elect. Go as well, I catch y'all on the next one. Shalom.